so hello welcome back to my channel <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming at you with a huge fall haul video and I haven't done a try on haul in forever I feel like it's actually been like a year so my bad I'm really sorry I'm currently coming to you from a different background because I'm at my parents house right now watching their dogs while they're on a trip so you get this weird balcony reflecting thing behind me, please just ignore it. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I dyed my hair darker and, wait, you have to see this. I curled my hair today and I really, really like how it turned out. It's super dark and super black and I love it. Anyway, so as I said, today is a fall try on haul and I'm very, very excited and I don't think there's really much else to it. If you guys like haul videos and you wanna see more, I'm thinking of doing some winter videos because I've already started winter shopping because I have an actual problem. But if you guys wanna see another try on haul, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like them and be sure to subscribe if you haven't. We are getting so, so close to 1 million subscribers. I just want to say thank you to you guys and let's get started. We're going to start with Urban Outfitters. A lot of the stuff I don't have the bags for anymore, which I usually like to keep the bags and show you guys like, oh, like I got it from this store. But a lot of the stuff I actually wore when I went to New York because it was so cold and I needed warmer clothes or I guess colder clothes? I don't really know which it is, but basically I needed clothes for colder weather. I am a Southern California girl, born and raised, so I needed some things to keep me a little warm in the New York weather. <laughs> so first of all, from Urban Outfitters, I picked up this shirt, and I believe it is called a Henley. I am not quite sure. I am not a fashion guru in any sort of way, shape, or form, so I don't really know my terms, but I'm pretty sure it's called a Henley, and it's basically like a button-up, a uh, long sleeve shirt. It kind of reminds me of like a thermal when you go skiing or something like that, but a little bit cuter, and I love these things. They're so comfortable, very, very flattering, and super, super soft. I love. And also from Urban Outfitters, I picked up two flannels. I have never really been a flannel person. I think they look great on other people, but when I put them on, I look like a crazy lumberjack. So I haven't really worn them a lot in the past, to be honest, but I picked out these because I went shopping with my friend Tara, or Tara Mascot, if you guys know her on YouTube. She's amazing, and she wears flannels all the time, and they look so cute on her, so she inspired me, and I got a couple. The first one that I got is this one here. It's like a dark foresty green with like navy blue, which navy blue is my new thing. I've been so into it. So I like this a lot. I've been wearing it with this navy blue tank dress that I have and I think it kind of puts like a feminine twist on it. And then this next one that I got is really, really, really cute. It's basically just a pinstripe like I don't know if it's black and white or if it's blue and white. I'm kind of a little bit colorblind. Either way, it's really cute. And I think this is cool because you can kind of dress up or you can dress it down. And I'm very interested in seeing how I can kind of style this because I think it sounds like fun. <laughs> Last but not least from Urban Outfitters, I picked up this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's one of those like cold shouldery tops where it's got like the strap up here and then it drops off your shoulder and they're so flattering, so comfortable. I'm just gonna lift it up for you guys. It has this really cute like detailing. Oh, it's so pretty at the bottom of the shirt, which makes it look very expensive which it also was very overpriced but I've been so into these shirts and I feel very comfortable and confident in them so I figured why not invest in something that I love moving on I went to Topshop and I picked up a couple shirts all of which are pretty much the exact same but in different colors what else is new all right the one thing that I got that wasn't the same as everything else it was nothing was the same it's this shirt right here which I know I feel like this might not be everybody's cup of tea but I've been really liking Topshop's halter tops and I found this in the clearance section As as I said earlier, I've been loving the blue color. I have been living for pink and blue lately. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm having twins. Who knows? Either way, it was really inexpensive on clearance for $12 and I could not pass it up. If you guys know me, you know that when I find something that I love, I buy it in as many colors as possible because if I find it flattering, then I know I'm going to wear it a lot. And if it's comfortable, I know I'm going to wear it a lot. So I picked up these shirts here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. I will leave the link down below. I went to New York for BeautyCon and I wore this shirt to one of the parties and I pretty much have like 50 different pictures on my Instagram in this shirt. It is so comfortable, so flattering. If you guys are not the most confident about your arms, get this shirt. It is amazing and makes your whole body look like butter and it makes you just look very nice and smooth. So I love the gray one so much that I also went back and picked it up in this really pretty like red burgundy color, which is so cute for the holidays. I cannot wait. I'm shaking it. I'm so excited. And then I also picked it up in white because I figured I could wear this with pretty much everything and it looked good with pretty much everything. So that is everything that I got at Topshop and now we can move on to Brandy Melville. So my new favorite thing recently has been driving around with the top down in my car, but 
with that comes crazy hair and it just like when my hair flies in my face. I picked up this hat from Brandy Melva, which I have been loving hats because they're great to keep the hair out of my face when I'm driving and I stay safe. So I got this one and it is so cute. It's just a navy blue hat, which as I said, I love navy blue with pink. I've been loving pink and it says, uh-huh, honey. So I will model it for you. I will probably get crazy hat hair after, but um, their hats are really, really comfortable. They fit my big head and I think that they look really, really good. So yes, this is a plus. The next thing that I got from Brandy Melville is this scarf. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? I'm obsessed with it. It's pink, it's crochet, it's soft, it's amazing. What I actually like most about this scarf is you know how usually with infinity scarves you have to like wrap them around twice around your neck and then it kind of like becomes this big bulge around your neck and it's just sometimes not the cutest thing ever. This is the answer to all my prayers. Ah! Basically with this all you have to do, are you ready? You do this, one, and done. I'm pretty sure it's made just to kind of wear it around just one time. You don't have to wrap it around. You can totally wrap it around if you want to, but I like it just kind of hanging loose. I think it is so cute, so flattering. It makes me feel like Chanel from Scream Queens. This is perfect. DIY Halloween costume. You're done. I missed Halloween, so maybe next year. And the last but not least from Brandy Melville, I picked up this sweater here, or I guess a cardigan, or I guess a zip up hoodie jacket thing. I'm not really sure. Basically, it's just a jacket, and I absolutely love this for the fabric. It is so cool. It's kind of like a towel and then the actual coloring of it is like black and white and gray so it's kind of like a salt and peppery feel jazz hands. It's kind of like a salt and peppery feel and I think it is so cool. I think it'd be awesome to match up with different scarves and patterns and fabrics and things like that and I am just a huge, huge fan. When I saw this, I freaked out. Next up, I went to PacSun and they were having a huge deal. First of all, I picked up this shirt here which I am obsessed with as I am with pretty much everything else that I'm showing you today. It's like a cream color, oatmeal color and I think it'd be really cute to wear with a bunch of different things. I also picked up two things from Brandy Melville, one of which is seriously just a plain white long sleeve. Nothing crazy about it, but I thought it'd be great for layering with flannels and jackets and vests and things. And this other thing was my favorite thing in college. This is seriously like all I wore basically, to be honest. Basically, they're just like these really thin, so soft, like sweatshirty things that are just very thin and comfortable and perfect just to throw on with like jeans or with yoga leggings or something and you are good to go for school or for just like a casual day, for just lounging, these are the bomb. It is so cute. If you guys know me, I am a huge sucker for any kind of cardigan during the winter or the fall. I just love the colored cardigans. So I got this one here, which is maroon, and it's got this cool kind of like tribally pattern on the back with like all these like little triangles and whatnot on them. I think it's really cool because it's like a mixture of maroon with black and white and I just think it's really really different and interesting and so I had to pick it up. Next up I went to Nordstrom and my best friend just started working there which means that I spend a lot of time there which also means my wallet is crying every time I leave. The first thing was actually a gift from my best friend Hillary which was the sweetest thing ever so I got this shirt from her that says brunch or die. I think it's so so cute. I've been so into the whole brunch trend thing that's going on right now and I think it's so flattering. I I like it because it's a normal white t-shirt, but instead of being just like plain and boxy, it kind of goes like at an angle. It kind of gives you a little something something if you know what I'm saying. I also picked up three of the same shirt again in different colors because this thing is so flattering and so comfortable and something that I will totally reach for all the time during the fall and the winter. Again, it's just a plain long sleeve, but the front kind of has like this cut in it so that the V kind of like opens up just very casually, very comfortably, and there's like a little pocket on the front. It's kind of just like a pocket long sleeve, but I got it in this like really pretty cornflower blue color, which I don't actually know if that's a shade of blue. I think I just made that up, but a blue shade. I got it in this cream with some black stripes and then also in this really pretty burgundy maroon color. So I will be for sure reaching for these all the time. And last but not least, from Nordstrom, I picked up this shirt here, and it's kind of like the cross between like a hoodie and a Henley. A uh, Hoodley. <laughs> it's just this like button up long sleeve shirt that's so ridiculously soft. I wore this in New York the first day I got there, and I, I could have felt, I think I did fall asleep in it actually. I'm not quite sure, but it was so comfortable. It's very thin, it's got little buttons down the front, and then the best part of all, there is a hood attached to it, which you all know how much I love a good hood. And last but not least, my newest obsession, I just did like a little snake. Last but not least is Free People, which I just cannot say enough good things about. So the first thing that I got is this cream sweater, which obviously 
obviously I love it because it's got the whole cold shoulder thing going on again. It just kind of like does a little peekaboo of the shoulder and it's so ridiculously flattering. A lot of times I have problems with big knit sweaters like this because they kind of don't look the best on my body shape to be honest. But this one's really cool because it's fitted a little bit differently, it's cut differently, and I am just a huge fan of this. I also picked up this really cool ombre shirt here which is like a teal to white ombre. They also had like maroon, blue, and gray or something like that but I was really drawn to this green color because I thought it would look really good with my hair and my skin tone. I'm not sure but I really like it and I'm such a huge fan of just like the slouchy over the shoulder long sleeves so we will see how this works out. Next up is this dress which I know is definitely going to be a hit or a miss with many people. I think it looks like an old couch and I love it. For some reason I'm really drawn to like vintage old old patterns like this, but I think it's really pretty. It's like a mauve rose color with these cool like blue and like teal flowers all over it. And last but not least, I think this is by far my favorite purchase out of this entire haul. It's this white thermal shirt and it looks like this and it kind of cuts in the middle and flares out so I think it'll be very flattering on my body shape and also it's got this cute little cut right down the middle and then it's got these flared sleeves. I think just everything about it sounds so pretty and then it's got this really cool like blue and black and white kind of a patterny thing on it. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm excited to wear this because I think I'm gonna really, really, really like it on. So that wraps up my fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!